took 10 minutes to change everything for the Great Mills High School community. And tonight, police are releasing chilling 911 calls from students and teachers as they sheltered in place during that school shooting. ABC 2's Eddie Kadem joins us now, where we're learning a little bit more about the timeline of events. Right, Eddie? Yeah, Jamie, tonight we learned the shooter shot and killed himself while a school resource officer shot the gun in his hand. 7.50 in the morning, the shooter parks, and by 8 a.m., he'd shot two students and himself. Great Mills High School. Ten minutes of terror at Great Mills High School. 911 audio from students and staff as they sheltered in place. This map showing 18 year old Austin Rollins' movement. Police say he walks up to and shoots Jalen Willie in the head. A teacher frantically tells police what the aftermath looks like. Well, there's a, a shot in the hallway. I don't, I don't know if it was a gun, but there's a girl outside and they were bleeding on the ground. <laughs> The same bullet that hit Willie hits Desmond Barnes, who was able to get into a room and call police. I was just shot at my school. I'm sorry? I was just shot at my school. Police trying to comfort a teacher next to Barnes. So if you can tell me what to do, I got a student who's been shot, I'm bleeding. We are, we are getting help to you, ma'am. Okay. We are getting help to you. You need to stay in the classroom. Barnes sticking on the phone, biting back the pain as he waits. You said your leg's going numb, buddy. Stay strong for me. Three minutes after Willie and Barnes are shot, school resource officer Deputy First Class Blaine Gaskill finds Rollins in the hallway. As Rollins shoots himself in the head, Barnes shoots and hits the weapon in his hand. Minutes later, medics get to Barnes to stop the bleeding. Hi, guys. Hello. 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 Jalen Willie was taken off life support and died Thursday night. Police say she and the shooter had a relationship that recently ended. The handgun used in the shooting was legally owned by Roland's father.